Hey guys, welcome to this video. I am doing a makeup video because I wear makeup. You probably want to see how I do it. This isn't one of my more um, natural looks, but just when I'm wearing something cute, I'm going out. This is what I like to do normally, but it's still super simple and you can easily replicate with whatever makeup that you have. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go. All right, so first I start off with just some chapstick. This Whoa, <clears throat> my voice is cracking. This is Mongo Kiss. I found it at CVS, I work there, so. I like to try a lot of different things. So, there's that. Then, we're gonna start with some moisturizer. Um, I use Pond's moisturizer because my face is the Sahara Desert, so. We're going to just put this on all over. And I really only put on moisturizer when I do my makeup, and that's not every day, so yeah, I'm kind of bad. Maybe that's why my face is so dry. I don't know. Also, I put up my bangs. Usually they're kind of a struggle with my makeup. They're growing out, so I'm just trying to find different ways to like put them up and stuff. But anyways, I do that, and then I have this primer from Meryl Norman. It's a 24 karat gold firming foundation primer. I have like a few little sample things of these, and I really like it. I didn't used to use primer actually because um, I thought that it dried out my face like even more than it already was, but it was an e.l.f. one that I used, so that could be why, I don't know. Okay, next, do my foundation. I don't really use a sponge anymore because I don't ever clean them and then I feel like that's really bad for my face, so I started using a brush, which I don't ever clean those either. Hmm problem. So I use this Flower uh, Light Illusion Foundation right here and this is in Warm Beige L4. But I usually start off with just taking my finger actually and just placing it wherever and I do a couple pumps. So the brush I use is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I think that's what this one is. It's worn off but I've had it for a while. Excuse you. And I also don't like putting product on my forehead. That's why I had like so little for my forehead because I just really don't enjoy putting stuff on my forehead. I don't like little forehead pimples. Sure that's all nice and blended okay now I use concealer and I use a lot of drugstore products so beware um, this is the Maybelline master conceal and this is in light I open it this stuff has lasted me a long time like this little squirt bottle it's like just now kind of running low but it's not nearly out so it's a good concealer I usually just take it between my fingers like this and I'm gonna do this without a mirror because I need both hands. I just kind of dot it under my eyes here and then I look with whatever's left over on my fingers and put that where I have some spots. I'm not very crazy about covering up everything. I wish I could, but in the end I just am too lazy and I don't care, so. Okay, so concealer done, and I'm starting to like pick up my pace a little bit more. So now I use, I like to use a cream base and then a powder with most things. So this is my cream highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's almost all gone, but I've had this for like two years, I feel like. Almost two years, and it's lasted me that long. So I just take it and slightly go over. Sometimes I'll put it on my eyelids, which I'm actually do today. Just kind of take it and put it on there. Yep, just like that. And I also just rub this in. Well, I just dab it, I guess. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna set my face with this powder. Oops, almost forgot my cream contour. So this is a master contour. Must have been their like master line. Master chrome? Yeah, because I have that highlighter as well. Mm, big fan. Big fan, I guess. Let's take this and I just use I always just use the brown side. This is in deep. It was the only one out of all the choices that had like a cooler toned contour. It's put a little bit right there. That's all I really do because I like it. I don't really have very strong like prominent cheekbones so um, I like to do this. Oh this is the dual fiber contour brush from Real Techniques. Now I set. So to make my under eyes a little bit brighter, I use the airspin powder because we all know that it can have really bad flashback. Um, so I typically use it for just where I want it to be bright. This one is in... This is their translucent one. Just take this blush brush from e.l.f. And I have two of these. I use one for highlighter and one for powder. And I just kind of tap it off a little bit and then put it directly under my eye. Because my under eyes, like, always crease up a little, <sighs> a little bit. So I like to set those, like, as quick as I can. And also just, like, this crease and then, like, this crease. So I, I typically just use this powder for, like, the creases. <coughs> and then for the rest of the face, I use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in Creamy Natural. I meant to get translucent, but... It didn't happen. I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm wanting to do with this channel. I don't want to make it something that I really consume my time with. I've just always wanted to have a YouTube channel since I was like 11 or 12, but I wasn't allowed to. And um, I used to film so many videos like on my webcam, on our computer. Um, but they're all really embarrassing, but they're like nail tutorials because I used to be a mad nail artist. Like, I'm not even kidding. My sister, my sister's friends would like pay me to do their nails for prom because I had like acrylic stuff, um, like acrylic powder and liquid and I would literally do acrylic stuff. I had like little detail brushes. I would use like acrylic, acrylic paint and I painted like a tiger eye. I lost it. <laughs> I don't know how I ever did that. Anyways, I would film a bunch of videos like with that, um, but I quickly just kind of stopped doing that. But I just wanted it to be fun, random, something that might be fun to look back on later. So that's really about it. So next I'm doing my eyebrows and this usually takes me a long time because I'm kind of particular even though they don't end up looking amazing, I'm still very particular. So I brush them all up. Now I'm heartbroken to tell you that I usually use um, the Benefits Precisely My Brow and Goof Proof brow but I ran out and I'm poor I bought like five of those and I need to like hold my horses <laughs> I can't do it so I just recently got this one this is from L'Oreal brow stylist definer I'm not crazy about it but it's gonna have to do I usually start off I I'll just kind of tell you what I do and then I'll probably like speed this part up because it's gonna take me a while but I usually define the under part first starting right here and I'll go like all the way down and you want to like brush your hairs up so you can see where you want it to be and I'll do that like all the way down and then I brush this down I do it all the way on the top and then I kind of fill in spots my eyebrows aren't too like sparse so it's not that hard and then I use a gel I bought this like a week and a half ago. It's done. It broke off and it's done. This is the problem. Okay, so we're back. And I ended up just using my eyebrow brush and this dark green brown color. And you know what? It's just gonna have to do. 
Maybelline's Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. And it kind of has like an applicator like so. I don't know how well you can see that once again. Um, actually, I'm not doing this yet. Just kidding, lol. Anyways, I do my base, eyebrows, without the gel. And then now I'll do like face powder and eyeshadow. I'm going to be real. I don't do a ton of eyeshadow. I don't, I'm not really that into eyeshadow. Um, this is Meryl Norman's cheek color actually in Sugar Melon. But it looks like this. And I love using this as an eyeshadow with my blue eyes. It just looks really good. So I'm just going to put this in my crease with this like um with this brush i can't tell you where it's from because i don't really know but i'm just going to apply this directly in my crease and blend it out on the brow bone just wing it out a little bit Wing it out and then i also put this on the bottom lash line as well And I have two different shaped eyes. I don't know if you guys can tell. This one's higher, like more like open. And this one's a little bit more hooded. Like there's like, it's more like rectangular. And then this one's more circular. It's really weird. And I don't know if I'm the only one that can notice it, but I think it's pretty noticeable. Um, I'll take my Hula bronzer. And they kind of look like the same color when you like, Put them together but they're obviously not because this is more brown but sometimes I'll take this and warm it up even a little bit more because I love the color of oh and this is a brush from Lancome Pinecone. I'm gonna use my hula bronzer and then this is the dual fiber face brush from Real Techniques and I kind of squish it like this so that it's good for It's really, really nice for blending out. I don't put on my forehead because I already have a small forehead. And people are like, oh, well, you're like, you don't have a big one. Well, I'd rather have a big one, honestly, because I can't put bronzer on it and it's just, it's just really small. I'm gonna use this Tarte Blush in Parte. And I, once again, use this Real Techniques brush, which is their blush brush. I actually am using it for its real purpose. And I just put it on there. I didn't, I kind of stopped using blush for a long time. Um, but I'm using it again, so. Don't know why you needed to know that. Here's my highlighter. This is the Maybelline's Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Rose Gold. This is so pretty. I've hit pan. I've like hit pan on every single thing I have right now. And it's bad, like. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to, like, buy more makeup, and it's just going to be terrible, so. So, I used to wet the brush every time I used this, and I don't know why, because it's fine by itself. And, like, when I put on my spray after, oh, there's a little bang. Um, when I put on my spray after, it, like, intensifies it that way, so there's really no need to put it on with spray. But I put on my cheekbones. Sometimes I'll go right here. And do like a whole like hit the brow bone and then come up like this. Okay, so now I do my brows. And I really like the look of like pushing the hairs forward and making it like more fluffy. Take it like this and push them forward. And you want to start at the base so that it, you know, stays. Also, I like trim and cut my own eyebrows and pluck and everything like that. I've never gotten them done. I just kind of let them be themselves. And I'll like trim this front part so that I can like do this. Also kind of brush those out as well. I'm not afraid to just let my eyebrows go. Directly after, this is when I use my setting spray. I use Mario Badescu. I've gone through way too many of these. Once again, on my last bottle, spray and mm, love that in my mouth. Use it right after I do my brows because I think it helps keep them set also. And now it's time 
for mascara. So I always go back and forth between all the mascaras that I use um, currently. Okay, one thing that stays the same is that I always use waterproof on bottom and then normal on top. Currently, I'm still using this Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express for the bottom, and then I'm trying out this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I like it so far. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for like the Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't really know. So I'm going to put on my mascara. This is another thing that I'm kind of particular about, and it takes me a hot second to do, so I'll probably speed this up as well. Okay, those are the bottom lashes, and I don't curl my top lashes, they're already, I mean they're not like curly curly, but they're not straight, so I don't bother to do that. <coughs> oh, that one sounded weird. I'm so sorry. Again, I apologize. Let me grab my lipstick and then we'll be done. Alright, so the lipstick I like to use is from Maybelline. It's their Matte Lipstick Touch of Spice 660. This is so pretty. I love their matte lipsticks. I have a couple different ones. And I can just put it on and I don't feel it. It's light. You can mix it with a lip balm. You can wear it by itself. And I have a lot of trouble with lipstick because I don't like it when I can feel it and like my lips get cakey and stuff. But like literally you can just like dab it and that's enough or you can put it on like fully and it's great it lasts a long time okay and that is it for the makeup thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this kind of video I wasn't really sure if um, anyone would really want to see this kind of thing but you did and please thumbs up and subscribe um, it means a lot to me if you subscribe it just shows that people are appreciating what I'm putting out there for them and I'm really happy to do that for you guys so comment down below what else you'd like to see what you liked about this if you have any questions um, I'll be sure to put the makeup products and everything like that um, in the description box and don't forget that we're all awkward little bugs and don't be afraid to be different and be yourself and stick out so thank you for watching and See you in the next one.